basic geometry. Basic, meaning elementary, meaning simple. Okay? Now, yes, you're going to still see decimals. You are still going to see decimals. So, just so you know, not going away. And actually, decimals turn into fractions. Okay? So, here we go. We're going to be looking at simple um, geometrics. Now, most of the time, teachers really mess up. And we say, I need you to get in a line. What does that mean? That means, like, do your work. Get in a line means do your work? Rachel, what is get in a line? I mean, yeah, get in a line. One by one. In order. In order. Six. That's thank you, COVID. Is that all? A leader. A leader. A line leader. So that the line never ends. Because I quit. So I'm really not needing you in a line. I really want you in a line segment. So here's your first word. This is notes. Line segment. And it's exactly what Jesse said. It's part of a line with two, uh, yeah, let's do two endpoints. It's in the book. Oh, is that what you got it? See, look at me thinking you use all smarticle and stuff. <laughs> so line set, line segment. It's part of a line with two endpoints. So when I would draw a line segment, it would look like this. Endpoint. It's still straight, but it doesn't go on and on and on. Bless you, my child. directions. It never is. There's no end point. A line is straight and 
goes without an endpoint. Line is straight and it goes without an endpoint. The book says it's a straight path of points that goes on forever in two directions. So I could show you a line. Connell. Nope, Connor. Um, that movie Baymax, the line looks like that. His eyes. Yes, they do. I was going to say. Line segment. I was going to say that that's how you draw it because I was thinking of that. And so, a line segment has two endpoints, but a line. Is, a, is straight and goes without an endpoint. Goes forever. Him. I'm going to just write it out here. Forever. Forever. What movie is that off of? Maya. Um, 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 toys? Forever. Thank you. Sandlot. You ever seen Sandlot? No. Yeah. You should watch Sandlot. Forever. Okay. So we have a line segment. We have a line. Now, there was something we said that we have not discussed, and it was called a point. A point. You said two in points. Now, many of you use a cell phone or have seen a cell phone or even have your own, but the thing is, on the map, if you were to bring up the map and type in Mickey School, what does it do? What does it show you on the map? A little dot. A little point, doesn't it? It puts a little point, a little dot there. What does that mean? Doesn't that mean where it's at or where you are? That's ex where it's at. It's exact location. So if I were in Tallahassee, Florida, and I put on there Mickey, Tennessee, it would put a dot on that map, and if I listened to that woman tell me the directions and followed her directions, it would bring me straight here at the exact location. May not have been here, but it would be at Mickey School. So a point is what? What is a point? Y'all know this. What is a point? What about the ra what about range? What is a point? I have no idea what you just mumbled. Try it again. Where it's at? Like makes the end of something? Exact location. Exact location. It's the exact location. Exactly where it's at. When you've done graphs before, y'all have done graphs? Mm -hmm. And you do it on your order, um, graph paper? And you have to go over three and up two. And you draw a little dot there, you bubble it in. That's the exact location of where you would find the grocery store. And guess what? That's a point. Yeah, I've seen a point before. <laughs> yeah, there's a point right on the it's end of the It's almost like a period. Now, what if I were to mix these two up? What if I were to take a line segment and a line and, whoa, he says, and mix it up? What would, what would that be called? Jesse? Ray. Oh, Ray. Is your middle name Ray? Mark, Mark, it Mark, is now. Mark. Jesse Ray. So, it's a ray. So tell me, what is a ray? Well, let me ask you something. Have you 
you ever heard of a sun ray? Yes. yes. What does that mean? It's like part of the sun. It's a beam of light. It's a beam of light. It has a starting point, which is what? The sun. And then comes down it forever. comes forever. It goes forever. It goes forever. It penetrates the earth and goes forever. So a ray is what? If it has a starting spot and then goes forever. What how would we say that? A ray starts and never ends. Okay, it has a starting point and never ends. What do you think, Jesse Ray? A ray is a part of a line. It, it has only one end point and extends forever in one direction. Does that sound like a textbook answer or what? Yeah. yeah. A ray is part of a line. It has a starting point. And goes in the opposite direction for and bird. It's a lot on that one. A right is part of a line. It has a straight point, I mean a starting point, and it goes in the opposite direction for so, if I said it was a combination of these, it has a starting point, and no it's part of a line, then the opposite side goes forever. So that's, that's exactly how I would write a ray. That's exactly how I did it. Good. Do what? I said it's yes and I did all know it was. I remember all of these. Good. Good. Didn't, Good. Didn't, Good. Coach, Good. didn't Coach D like have the the hand symbol? Yeah, she uh, did. No, but we no, no, she did. Yeah, she did. Okay, okay, we're not arguing. Okay, good, 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 good. That was mistaken. Okay, okay, okay. All right. So we've talked about a line segment. We've talked about a line. We've talked about a point. We've talked about a ray. Now I'm going to take this tissue box. Now I've got this tissue box. And if I told you, if I told you this was a plane, okay. you're like, uh-uh, it can't fly. Well, think of geography. What is a plane? Alea, Elena? Sorry. Um, isn't it like a, a land form? What kind of land form? Here. We're great for farming. 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 Good, Colton. Because farming is flat lands. Have you ever heard of Rocky Top? Yeah. 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 They get their corn from a jar. Why? Wow. That's what it says. Rocky Top, you'll always be home, sweet home to me. Good old Rocky Top, Rocky Top Tennessee. Then it says, their, rock, their ground's too rocky by far. That's why they get their corn from a jar. Why don't they play? Why don't they grow their own corn? Because, because it, the ground is too rocky. It's too rocky. Is it flat? No, it's in the Rockies. It's mountains. Okay? So, plain is flat. So, on this tissue box, how many planes do I have? Six. Six. One, there's a plane. You watch it? Two, there's a plane. Three, there's a plane. Four, there's a plane. Five, there's a plane. Six. So I have six planes, six separate flat lands on this box. That's all going to make a difference here in just a second, okay? So, 
you need to know what a plane is. We're gonna write the definition in just one second. But before we do, I'm fixing a racist. Do you have it all, Austin? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. All right. Oh. Okay. So, girl. All right, here we go. I'm going to draw this and I want you to also. Guys, just all I did was draw two straight lines out, one that went through, and then a slanted one. That's all there is to that. And I'm going to name the points. I'm going to name it after myself. J, A, E, S. Okay, Julianne Pearson Skinner is amazing, so I need to do, or brilliant. We're going to make it be. Brilliant, Julianne Pearson Skinner. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Do we have to write all those letters on there? No. Yeah. No. It's not a lot of letters. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. We have. We um. We're tired of studying all the questions like this. Yeah. Write this down, but do not try to answer it just yet. What are you doing for? What are you doing for?
Rachel? Um, S. Okay. Do you agree that S is a point? Yes. Yeah. So I would have to write, there's no fancy way other than just say point S. You have to write the word point on it. Did you get that, Jesse Ray? Elena, give me one. Watch 
me. Watch me. I can say, I see four. I can say, line, say, y'all just keep talking over me. I can say line segment, watch this, BS. Yes. But you said that was a, a line. It's not if I name it line segment. If I say it's a line segment, I'm only talking about from here to here. I'm only talking about from here to here. But if I told you it was a line, I'm talking from all of it, forevermore on each side. But it's just how I name it. I've named this a line segment, therefore, even though you named it a line earlier, I was talking about even the stuff that went past B and S on a line segment. I mean, a line, but a line segment is only talking about the stuff between S and B. I got it. So I would write it, it would be written like this. It would be written with a line over the top, B, S. I stopped before I finished it. Yes. It would be written, line segment, B, S. There is only one on there that could not be a line. Does anybody know which one? Or There's actually two. But. B and S? P, no. Look, it can't be a line segment. AP and JP. JP can be a line segment, but it can also be a line. JA. JA. Yep, I got JA. It can be JA because it's no, there's not an ending here. AB, AP. BJ could be one. BJ is a line. But it could also be a line segment. So, you could do line BJ. You could do line, I mean, sorry, line segment BJ. Just from here to here. Just what's inside that. That's all I'm talking about. Or I could do line segment AP. And I have to draw the line above it. It can't be a line but it can be a line segment. Because it, it's only this part. You would be taking the entire line, it would be A to J, uh, P to J. All right, let's name three rays. Go to me. J, J what? B, okay. I would say, would you say that if I started at J and I said it was a ray, would that work? Yes. So J, B. So it would, I would say ray, J, B. But watch me. Watch me. Do y'all see how I... J, B. Why did I put it on? Did y'all see... <laughs> Look at my array sign. Yeah. Y'all see? It's part of a line segment, but part of a line. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Rachel, name one. Um, JP. Would JP, could that be a ray? Yeah. Yeah, because look, it means it starts at J and it keeps going past P. Could that be a ray? Yeah, just depends on how you name it. Could that also be named a line? And B -S Could it have been named a line segment? Yes. Yeah, but we named it a ray. We said, no, we don't want all of it. We just want, we don't want this part of it. We just want from J forward. Mr. All right, Emma, give me one. B-S. B-S. Could line B, -A or, ooh. Could B, S be a ray? Yeah. 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 Means it starts here. I should use a different color. And it goes past S. So, ray, B, S. Could it be ray, S, B? No. Yeah. Uh -uh. Yeah. Yes. yeah. It mean, that just means it would start at S and go just forward. Sloping. Just wouldn't be anything... In front of us. It's just swapping the starting place. It is. It starts your, it swaps your starting place.
starting point or your points? Yeah. Ooh. I'm just kidding. I got another one. Tell me. Tell me. Tell me. B and A. B A. B A. Oh, what yeah. is it? Yeah. Array, a line segment, or a line? Yeah. It could be all three. It could be all three. I could say line B A. That means all of it. I could say line segment B A, and I'm just talking about from here to here. It could be a ray, B, A, meaning starting at B and going way past A. Good. All right. Now we're going to take that bit of information and we're going to go one step forward. Now, I'm going to erase this, so you need to make sure you get it written. Don't erase this because we're going to come back to it. Oh, well, I just did, but I'm going to rewrite it. Y'all don't erase yours or whatever. Who said that? <laughs> I'm going to redraw mine. I thought I was, but apparently my arm went crazy. Oh, we're doing another one? No, no, no. We're using the same one. I just wrote on mine. I want it to be back like it was. Oh.
set of parallel lines. Yes. 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 What? Which one? What are they, Connor? Um, I see um, P and S. Okay. P and S. No, that's not the lines. You gotta name the lines, Jacob. Um, J P. So. Line JP. How do you write line JP? Little line on top. And JP. And line BS. Now let me show you something. Wrap that down, but I'm just going to show you how you write that they are parallel to each other. Are you watching? Yes, ma'am. Watch. I put a parallel line between them. That right there means that line JP is parallel, not parallel to line BS. Are they? Absolutely. And that is the symbol to show that they are parallel to each other. It's just two parallel lines. All right. Now, I want to look at something else. Intersecting lines. What does it mean when you come to an intersection? They like go together. They meet. They cross. They, don't they? Like, they cross. There, there'll be the rows are like that. this, and then there'll be like and and then they're like. Think about up here. Think about up here when you turn to go to the post office. Mm -hmm. That road intersects Highway Four Fifty uh, like Seven. Okay, it's kind of makes an X. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Okay, so you're going to have intersecting lines. You're going to have intersecting lines. An intersecting line, the book just says they pass through the same point. Hold on, just a second. They pass through the same point. You writing that down? Yeah. Okay. You have not written that down. I wrote pass through same point. Rachel, what was you gonna say? I was gonna say whenever you're like in a big city, like a lot of roads come through and there's like bridges where yes. they like go over. Each yes. Other. It's intersecting. That's scary. Um, going to my aunt and uncle's house, um, there's an Just intersection right. with mm -hmm. two lines going straight and then one line across. There you go. Okay, so intersecting lines. Folks, there is different kinds of intersecting lines. Do you see an intersecting line in this? Uh-huh, yeah. What do you see, Connor? Colton, sorry. Line B A intersects J B. Do you agree that yes. line B A intersects line J B? Yes. Okay, I'm writing it down. Or J B. I'm writing line A B. Guess what? You got to write the word intersect. Why didn't they make a symbol? I don't know, they didn't make a symbol for it, but they didn't. So line A B intersects J B. Hey, please note, please note that if they go through the same point, more than likely they're gonna have the same. They're gonna have the same point in their statement. Y'all see that? J B A B, because they go through what point? Where where do they intersect? Point B. Yes, point B. <sighs> Now, would you agree that line B S yes. also intersects line J B? Yes. Do you agree that J B intersects B S? Yes. yes. And now, but this is a different type of intersecting line because guess what it makes? It makes a ninety degree angle. It makes a perfect angle. It makes a right angle. 
So guess what happens if you have intersecting lines that make a perfect right angle? Perpendicular. Perpendicular. And I think I'm spelled that. I think that needs to be an E instead of an I. Okay, guys. Perpendicular lines. Guess what perpendicular lines are? Faith? They are going to be intersecting lines. They intersect. But they intersect at a perfect angle. this down, not yet. Waiting on it. very far, folks. So, talk to me. Don't tell me the line I, don't tell me the perpendicular lines I just gave you. Is there another one? Talk to me, Co Connor. Um, B, S, and B, and A. Line B, S, and B, A. I disagree, because that's intersecting. Line, look here. But does that give me a perfect right angle? Oh, another right. Yeah, it's got to be a right angle, perpendicular. Elena? The other side of, well, you think the other side of the, the B and J? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Uh, right Talk to me, coach. Line J B G or J J B. Sorry. J B and what? B S. B S. Is there another one? Rachel? There is um J P. J P and and um T S. No. That J B and J P and J B. Do these intersect making a right angle? Yep. I was going to say. Yes. So watch how you write that. You're going to say line J P. Now watch how intersect uh, perpendicular looks. Y'all see that? I can't see. It's an upside down T. Why do you think it's an upside down T for perpendicular? Maybe there's a 90 degree angle. There's two 90 degree. Look at there. So it's an upside down T just to say perpendicular to line J B. J B or J B? J P is perpendicular to line J B. J P is J B. It is, isn't it? But remember, perpendicular means they intersect at a certain point. What point did they both intersect? Yes. 
questions on this. No. no. They're going to ask you to find intersecting lines. They're going to ask you to tell. Folks, use this. Use your notes so that you see how to write it back down. You have to worry about the word intersect, but you can draw parallel lines to represent parallel. Now, let me say something. I need you to look back up here. On this plane, this, are you watching? Yes, this line right here and this line, what would we consider them? 90, 90 degrees. degrees, so perpendicular. What about this and this? Parallel. Parallel. What about this and this? Parallel. No. Intersecting. It is a nothing. It is nothing. Will they ever intersect? No. No. Because let me explain to you something. It's called skew. It's not one of your words. You're going to get it in sixth grade. But skew just means it's not on the same plane. They have to be parallel on the same plane. So... They have to both be on this plane. Okay? So watch this. This one and this. Are they parallel to each other? Yeah. 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 No. Why? Are they on the same plane? No. 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 But are these? If I were to get my hands right. No. Yeah. Yeah. Because they're both on the same plane. Okay? So sometimes they're not on the same plane. Are these parallel? No. No? no. no? Are these intersecting? No. Are they perpendicular? No. No, they're called skew. I'm skewing you on skew. They're not ever going to run into each other because they're not on the same they're plane. They're useless. They're useless. Okay. So that's why I wanted you to know about planes earlier. Okay? Here's your assignment. I'm going to write it on the board. You're going to do page 201, numbers 8 through 13. Then I want you to do 14, 15, and 17. Thank you. 